Totally, if you can just give us, you know, what is the eligibility to uh, become a dentist in Dubai or in UAE? How difficult this exam as per your, your personal experience? So the exam pattern is pretty okay. It's not very tough. Uh, if you have had the basics, uh, if you uh, have your basic clinical knowledge, then it's not very tough. Hello everyone, welcome to you all in my another video. Today we are going to discuss regarding the opportunities for dentists to work in abroad, especially you know, uh, talking about the Dubai or UAE, how you can practice here. And Dr. Kelly with us, she recently passed this exam and she will share her journey. And she's basically an Indian dentist from Goa. Uh, so hi Kelly, uh, welcome to Academically. Hi Doctor. Uh, please, you can just give us uh, your brief background, your education, and so far your experience. Uh, hi, Doctor. Doctor, I'm uh, working with the Goa government right now uh, as a consultant prosthodontist. And I cleared my uh, MDS in 2018. I'm an MDS in prosthodontics. Okay. Uh, regarding DHA, I cleared my DHA in, uh, uh, last year in May uh, as a specialist prosthodontist. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dr. Lee, if you can just give us, you know, what is the eligibility to uh, become a dentist in Dubai or in UAE? Uh, basically, you have to clear your data flow. Uh, so you need to have an experience. So if you're joining as a BDS, then uh, uh, experience post internship for at least two years is required. Yeah. And for MDS, uh, if you're getting through India as in, to an Indian university, then at least five years of clinical experience is required. Along with that, uh, a good standing certificate from the uh, <clears throat> Central Council. And uh, uh, English is not like uh, other countries, you don't need to have uh, a requirement to follow ILDS if your uh, background is being, uh, your curriculum was in English. Yeah. So that's the base. So, bachelor degree plus to your experience need for Dubai or in UAE, mostly the Gulf countries mostly ask this experience. But if you want to work yes. in Australia, you want to write ADC exam, there is no work experience required. You know, this is the main difference is here. And English required for Australia in case of uh, this uh, uh, Middle East countries, uh, again, English uh, requirement and requirement. So this is the main thing. So if you can just brief us about this exam, you know, the pattern of the exam, how many questions, how much time, uh, and what are the subjects they cover, and how difficult this exam as per your, your personal experience. Uh, so, so the exam is about uh, 150 questions in about uh, 165 minutes. So, uh, mainly about the exam is you have to have time management. You need to know how to answer the exam uh, as fast as possible. It's, uh, some most people lack in that they are not able to clear the questions itself. So, the exam pattern is pretty okay. It's not very tough. Uh, if you have had the basics, uh, if you uh, have your basic clinical knowledge. Then it's not very tough. Most of the questions are clinical based scenarios. Nowadays, the, the, the pattern has changed towards clinical based scenarios. So you have like almost 60% uh, of the exam something on uh, clinical uh, uh, subjects like perio, prosto, endo, all of these. So you don't have to go back to like dental materials or you don't have to go back to your anatomy and all those questions. So, is there any uh, negative marking in this exam, DHA exam? So, that's the best that's the best thing yeah. of so uh, Indian exam mostly they you know follow this the negative marking concept but uh, if you want to work in abroad whether it is Australia or any other other the Gulf countries Gulf mahaprabhu negative marking nahi hoti hai, right that is one good uh, plus point about these exams so uh, you just have to at least attempt the question if you, can, if you, don't, if you don't know just attempt the question you never know if it is the right so that's so how many good. months have you prepared yourself for this exam and कौन कौन से सब्जेक्ट हैं जो जिनको ज्यादा यू नो स्टडी करना चाहिए टू क्रैक दिस एग्जाम एज पर योर पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस सो माइन आई आंसर माइन एज अ स्पेशलिस्ट डेंटिस्ट सो माइन वाज ओनली प्रोस्टोडोंटिस्ट बेस्ड सो इन दैट केस आई टुक अबाउट 4 मंथ्स प्रिपेयर अ अबाउट मे बी इट्स से अबाउट 4 टू 5 आवर्स पर डे सो इट अबाउट या इट्स मोस्ट फॉर मी अराउंड 4 आवर पर डे फॉर 4 मंथ्स Months, yeah. Full formula. <laughs> yeah. At least four hours per day. You need to have at least four hours because we are working as well. 
Uh, yes. So, so to get back into that study zone takes a while. So at least four hours dedicated you need to uh, get that time. Yeah, totally. If you can compare this exam DHA in India, like you know, need PG dentistry. So, कितना tough और कैसे comparison कर सकते हैं इन दोनों exams को? बहुत सारे बच्चों को ये question रहता है सर बहुत ही और exam बहुत tough होते हैं and they are not thinking to write these exams, you know. So, if you can just give us some, you know, light on this. Now, uh, because there is so much of uh, knowledge on the NEET exam, you have a lot of questions on NEET exam. You will find it easier to answer NEET exams compared to DHA. But uh, with the right guidance, you can clear DHA exams. It is uh, it is not very tough actually. It, you have lesser subjects to study for DHA than what you have for NEET exam. So that's like a uh, myth that DHA exams or foreign exams are tough. But uh, 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 you need to give that time. You need to have the right guidance. You need to know how to answer these exams. I think uh, that's how you can go ahead with it. And we can uh-huh. like they are more focusing on clinical exam and your uh, need PGA. वहाँ पर non clinical exam भी कुछ नहीं ज़्यादा आते हैं. Like many subjects to study compared uh-huh. to what you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So you know, uh, in DH, why has to be you know Indian. क्यों so you can clear the exam in your home country from india and in india say you can online job apply kar sakte ho you know even you can uh, get you know you can go there on uh, visit visa wahan ja ke bhi aap job dhoond sakte ho you know bahut sare dentist wo karte hain you know to so, in indian around 35% jo population hai uae ka wo indians ka hai you know to so, har teen bandon mein ek indian hi dikhai dega i mean 50 40 population hai agar aap dekhein indian pakistani bangladeshi aur sri lankan gram laye the to 50% population yahi se hi log wahan pe hai तो आपको ऐसा नहीं लगेगा यू विल नॉट नेवर फील कि यू आर नॉट इन इंडिया यू नो अगर आप यूएई में अगर आप वर्क करते हैं नो यू नो समबडी यस यस यू नो यू विल नो समबडी देयर एट लीस्ट सो यू नो आई विल हैव अ बैकअप यस 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 दुबई में रिलेटिवली सेटलमेंट होना इजी है फॉर इंडियंस के लिए एंड इंडिया और और जो यूएई के रिलेशंस भी इज वेरी गुड यू नो तो गवर्नमेंट साइड से भी तो सपोर्ट है अब बहुत सारे इंडियन वहाँ पर जॉब करते कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है नो सो दिस इज द थिंग फॉर इफ यू आर ए डेंटिस्ट लुकिंग टू माई गेट एब्रॉड वी कैन हेल्प यू वेदर इट इज ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड और एनी गल्फ कंट्रीज सो यू कैन कनेक्ट टू अकेडमिकली फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन वी प्रोवाइड वन वन वी कंसल्टेशन ऑल्सो यू कैन टॉक टू आवर टीम दे विल गाइड यू यू नो वेदर यू ज्वाइन अकेडमिकली और बट यू कैन बुक्स दी आर वन आवर कंसल्टेशन विद दैम एंड गेट द फुल नॉलेज यू नो एंड देन यू कैन डिसाइड वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन इंडिया वर यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर एन ईट पी जी और एनी अदर फॉरन एग्जाम यू नो वाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन दुबई और एनी गल्फ कंट्री तो यहाँ पर जो है आपको पार्ट टू एग्जाम नहीं होता है क्लिनिकल एग्जाम नहीं होता है लाइक जैसे ऑस्की एग्जाम सिमिलरली फॉर कनाडा यू एस यू के यू नो बट गल्फ कंट्री में ओनली वन एग्जाम है वो पास करना है अपना होम कंट्री में एंड यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इंग्लिश का कोई रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं होता है थर्डली यहाँ पर जो एक्सपेंसिस है बहुत ही लो रहेगा एज कम्पेयर टू दिस कंट्री यहाँ पर मे बी पाँच सात लाख रुपये आपका खर्चा होना है मिनिमम और यहाँ पे आपको एक डेढ़ लाख में टोटल खर्चा हो सकता है अगर आप गल्फ कंट्री में प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हैं एज ए डेंटिस्ट यू नो तो अगर आप दो साल का एक्सपीरियंस है एंड डेफिनेटली यू कैन ट्राई टू वर्क इन दिस कंट्रीज फॉर फ्यू इयर्स देन यू कैन डिसाइड वेदर यू वांट टू वर्क इन अदर कंट्री और यू वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू इंडिया नो इज अप टू यू तो ये टोटल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग एट द एंड uh that's what i actually the uh, uh, mostly you have to if you, whatever exam you want to answer go for it start early be determined and choose the country that you want to go for the like, academically is there behind you to help you with whichever country you want to go for and that's yeah thank you so much thank you bye